Ever wondered about the boy who cried wolf? Well, once there was a shepherd boy who became bored watching over the village sheep. Can you imagine? The gentle bleeding, the soft grass beneath your feet, the warm sun overhead, and yet he was bored. To amuse himself, he decided to pull a little prank. He called out, wolf, wolf, his voice echoing across the valley. Now, the villagers, they cherished their sheep. When they heard his cries, their hearts pounded with fear. They dropped everything, leaving meals half-cooked and chores half-done to rush up the hill. But what did they find? No sharp-toothed predator, no scattering flock. Just a boy, grinning ear to ear, having a good laugh at their expense. The villagers, angry and annoyed, warned the boy not to cry wolf when there was no wolf. Little did they know, their words would soon fall on deaf ears. Despite the warning, the shepherd boy found the villagers' reactions amusing and decided to play the same prank again. Feeling a surge of mischievous excitement, he once again called out, Wolf! Wolf! His voice echoed across the hill, reaching the ears of the villagers. Just as before, they dropped what they were doing and raced up the hill, their hearts pounding with fear for their precious flock. But when they reached the top, they found no wolf, only the boy, a grin spread wide across his face. The villagers, their anger simmering, warned him once more. Save your frightened cry for when there really is a wolf, boy. Don't cry wolf when there is no wolf, they said sternly. But the boy, far from being chastised, just grinned at their words. The villagers, grumbling, went back down the hill, leaving the boy grinning at their retreating backs. Now the boy was not always lying. One day he spotted a real wolf sneaking around his flock. This was no game, no boyish prank. A genuine threat lurked on the periphery. The wolf with its piercing eyes and sharp teeth was real. Its predatory gaze was fixed on the unsuspecting sheep, its intentions as clear as the midday sun. Alarmed, the boy leaped to his feet, his heart pounded in his chest like a drum, as the reality of the situation hit him. He opened his mouth and let out a desperate cry, Wolf! Wolf! His voice echoed across the tranquil hills, a plea for help in the face of danger. But the villagers who had been fooled twice before were not as quick to respond. They heard the boy's cries, yes, but this time they dismissed them. He's at it again, they muttered among themselves, shaking their heads in disapproval. Their trust in the boy had been shattered by his previous pranks. Meanwhile, the wolf, unnoticed and unhindered, seized the opportunity. It attacked the flock, scattering the sheep in a frenzy of fear. The boy could only watch in despair as the wolf carried out its assault, his pleas for help falling on deaf ears. The boy's lies had led the villagers to ignore his cries when he most needed their help. All that was left was the chilling aftermath of a wolf's feast, and a boy left to face the consequences of his actions alone. As the sun set, the villagers wondered why the boy hadn't returned with their sheep. The quietude of the evening was broken by their anxious whispers, their gazes turned towards the hill, where the sheep usually grazed. With a sinking feeling in their hearts, they decided to climb the hill to find the boy. Upon reaching the top, they found the boy, his face streaked with tears, his voice hoarse from crying out. His sobs echoed in the stillness, a sad testament to his regret. The sight of the empty hillside, once filled with their grazing sheep, was a hard blow. The boy looked at them, his eyes filled with remorse. There was a wolf here, he cried. The flock is gone, I cried out, wolf! but you didn't come. His voice broke at the end as he confessed his earlier lies, his prank that had cost them all so dearly. The villagers could only stare, their anger now replaced with a sadness of their own. They had trusted the boy, and his lies had led to this moment of loss. The boy sat there, amidst the echoes of his prank, swallowed by regret, and a newfound understanding of the consequences of his actions. The boy learned the hard way that lies can cause more harm than amusement. This story of the boy who cried wolf leaves us with a valuable lesson. It teaches us that fabricating tales for amusement can lead to dire repercussions when the truth is most required. When we spread falsehoods, we risk losing the trust of those around us. And when we truly need help, those who once believed in us may no longer do so. Remember, trust once lost is hard to regain. Always speak the truth no matter how mundane your life might seem.